It's B Rod Tutorials today. Uh, happy Valentine's Day on this Tuesday. Good old February 14th, everyone's favorite day, of course. Um, today we're just going to do a simple growth population calculator um, council application. So if you go to New Project, under Visual, C Shop, Windows, Council Application, um, name it whatever you want. Um, I already have it though. After you click OK, here's the program itself. Um, and I'm just going to go through line by line. So here's actually what it's going to look like in the end. So for 75 years from so 2017 to 2092, it's going to show the population and multiply it by the population growth and show down all that. And it will also show you the difference after each year. So after this year, it stays the same. And then it, it subtracts the old population from the old population or it subtracts the old population from the the present population and shows a difference there but let's get right into it and show you guys how we did this so to start in your static void string large you'll start with this bracket or this brace and this brace this one right here and in, in that we're gonna need to write all this code first declaring our global, global variables double population this is just we're saying the population is seven billion and old population this is what we're going to need in the future to subtract it from the population and the rate that it's going up by is 1.11 and this console.write line is just for output purposes so we can label the top of it so as you can see up here where it says year population difference after the year and you can see console.write line it writes all that right here and these these backslashes tab or backslashes T it just tabs it over it's automatic spacing so if let's say we get rid of these it just says your population then you'll just see up here it just puts population back over to year so that's just what the backslash T does but now let's get into the big big meat part of it for double i equals 2017 i less center equal to 2092 and then i plus plus what this is doing is creating a for loop and we're declaring this variable double i and setting equal 2017 or whatever year you're watching this you can set it to whatever you want but it's currently 2017 and we're going to start with that and going 75 years which would be 2092 is when it will stop and i plus plus is just adding on to 2017 until it gets to 2092 by one so now for this loop this is what we wanted to do population times or equal to rate now what this does this is big at first I had this equation to where population just equals whatever whatever the number was times rate but this this right here is huge because it's gonna multiply it by itself so as you can see I put in the comments here x times y or times or equal to y is basically like doing x equals whatever that number is times y so it's going to have the population times itself by whatever in case this one would be rate which would be 1.1 okay and it also goes for the same as if it was divide minus or plus i'll show you at the end of the video what happens if we change that and then why I did this if statement in the middle of the for loop was to start it at 2018 so we can get the old population and this is just having another the next number that we can subtract it from so then after this if then statement we're gonna make the double difference which would be the difference variable that pops up right here for this number in the second column and here's the equation where we set difference equal to population minus old pop that's what gives us the number and this right here is where it all ties in console dot right line and the reason why I put this the money sign I guess you if you want to say in quotation is so it can read these braces these braces are nice because it keeps your code clean and you can just write in whatever variable so see how it has this brace I it's going to display whatever this number is up here so in this case it'll be 2017 and just keep going up 
so like you can see right here the I is this number on the left side and then to keep it the same up here we have the three three tabs and then three tabs down here and here and it's going to do the population variable display whatever that is where we have it here and then in the last column it will display difference and then after your for loop make sure you write console dot right line to make the new line and console dot read line is huge as I always say that's how you read your application at the end so when it runs and it just closes out as soon as it's done running just make sure you put a read line and it will fix that problem another quick thing is you see all these green green lines these aren't actually code itself this is just comments to make the code clean and make other programmers easier to read and uh, pick up what you're doing so this doesn't change anything for the code but to make a green green comment and show your code just put in slash slash uh, and write in whatever you have to do all right now just to show you guys in a more simpler way we'll say let's say population equals five and whole population equals five and we'll make the rate equal two this way you can understand how this equation works so when we have five times times rate which would be two it should be ten for the first one and then it will take that ten and times it by five again for the next one in year 2018 and so on we'll see what it looks like so yeah it starts off with ten and then it takes it multiplies it again and keeps going by by two so when we can see the difference here where it says 5 10 20 40 it takes these numbers and subtracts them so yeah so the difference between 40 and 20 is 20 80 and 40 is 40 but you see how this this formatting gets a little bit pushed over here in my next video, me and another one of my uh, colleagues um, named Tyrus are going to go over how to actually format this and any other program you need formatting for with string.format, which is a huge tool in making your program's output look very clean and pristine. And population times, we'll show you what it does when it divides. So it does the same thing, 2.5 just keeps going down it's very easy to understand subtract showing you guys what these do for all four of the operators and then the last one so which one didn't we use yet plus so yeah um, just let me know what you guys thought of the video um, if there's anything else you would like to see or explain better or future video let me know um please subscribe thank you for watching